Now I have a surprise for you. Uh, it's based on a um, technique that uh, Heather McHugh showed me. Uh, Heather uh, works with doctors uh, in, in the US, uh, creating sol solutions for doctors and, and healthcare. And uh, one of the things that she worked uh, on uh, during last year and this year was a solution where uh, which uh, doctors you are supposed to use uh, for visiting uh, patients and entering data uh, into a database. So it was natural that uh, it would be great to uh, make it uh, on iPad and FileMaker Go so that they can just take the iPad with them and enter the data there. Uh, what she found out was that for her uh, one of the toughest parts was uh, dealing with synchronization between FileMaker Go and FileMaker Server and uh, accidentally she discovered uh, one thing about imports. How do you think uh, uh, it, uh, you could optimize a script where only one script step is and <laughs> <laughs> and that and that script step uh, is import records. <laughs> yes, answers. Uh, the table where you're importing to, you can, for example, remove all indexes. Already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, assume I have already done that. Okay. What else? No records on the table. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Make it show no records before you do the imports. If you omit all the records. Show records, emit records, then run the script. Uh, okay, I'm importing into an empty table. All right, okay. Do not use the match. Any other ideas? <laughs> don't show the fields on the layout. The layout you're on, don't have any mm -hmm. fields. Em empty it. layout. Let, let, let's say I have done that. What <laughs> 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 happened? You tell us the answer. <laughs> This optimization is actually one of the one of the thinking out of the box kinds. So uh, I will just show you here. I'm importing from from a source table, source database, uh, which has five thousand random records in it and twenty five fields. Okay. The last field is a random, uh, some random node, or, or one of the fields is a random node, so it's a li little bit longer between between few characters and one kilobyte. Everything is else is under twenty characters, I think. And here, to be able to measure some reasonable time, I can choose how many times the import is done. So uh, here I have five, so that means it imports twenty five thousand records. This is just the plain import using the standard uh, import records script step. And you see it uh, took 13 seconds to, to import the 25,000 records. I'll show you how it is set up. Everything except this script steps is just the measuring. So this is this is the only thing that's measured, and uh, what I am doing here is just import the twenty-five fields, nothing more, nothing. You can see auto answers are disabled, so they do not do not trigger. And now I can switch to the to this list. You see all the data there. Let's just delete all records so that you can believe me that I have imported them again. <laughs> and let's try this faster import. I think I'm done. Mm -hmm. I can show you uh, more exactly. So here the normal import is. The whole script took about 13 seconds 78. And here you can see that average one import was taking about almost 3 seconds. And in the fast run, it was 
about three seconds for one run and every single import was taking about 60 milliseconds so let's see what data was imported here and it's all there the magic is uh, based on the structure because the data went to this single field with 25 repetitions so it's it's little uh, really thinking outside of the box instead of importing 25 fields I'm importing the same data into one field with 25 repetitions and it's taking six sixty milliseconds instead of three seconds it's obvious that there is some overhead for every single field you are importing data into so if you don't need to use the fields for searching or some other uh, stuff like that you can uh, use one repeating field instead of multiple fields to speed all imports up there is one reason why you might not want to do that if you need to have the data separated at some point then you have to pay uh, for this speed up later when you extract the data from the from the repeating field actually this sample slower import is doing just that this slower import uh, is different only in that that it imports data into the repeating field but enables the auto enter so that uh, all the 25 fields are populated with the with the data and it's taking longer than the than the original uh, normal import so this is only useful when you can afford leaving the data in the in the repeating field and do not need them separated into separate fields but in case of header she was importing uh, 19 about 97 fields uh, for each record so it was not 25 it was it was uh, almost 100 and for her the difference was even higher so when she was importing the data and you see it's uh, it's running on filmmaker pro advance here and uh, the original import to 13 seconds i tried that on filmmaker go from filmmaker server and it took a few minutes but the optimized version using the repeated uh, the, the repeating field took only about 10 seconds to import on filmmaker go mm -hmm.